What is up guys, RGT85 here, and arcade gaming is something I think is very cool. I didn't go to arcades as much as a kid as I would have liked to have, but there just wasn't any arcades around near where I lived. Whenever I'd go to the mall though, I would definitely check them out. And Street Fighter was always a favorite game of mine to play in the arcades, and I love Street Fighter. I still love Street Fighter to this day. Well, Arcade 1UP is a new company that is coming out with these new style arcade cabinets. We talked about it on RGT News, and they've been coming out with a bunch of different styles of arcade cabinets and I always thought they looked really cool they retail for about $300 and there's a bunch of different ones well I went ahead and ordered one because I really wanted to get my hands on one I wanted to check it out I wanted to see pretty much if I could build it because you have to assemble these yourselves and then see how they perform so my arcade cabinet has finally come in I've taken the time to build it so we're gonna talk about the build process pretty much what goes into it and then we're gonna look at the cabinet itself when it is complete and then of course we're gonna do a playthrough of it to make sure that it is something cool and make sure that it works well so sit back relax make sure you subscribe to the channel and let's take a look at the arcade one-up street fighter arcade cabinet hey rgt85 hey sean oh my god it's stevie richards Alright, so when this cabinet arrives at your door, I had mine shipped to me from GameStop. It comes in a pretty big box, and it wasn't all that heavy. It weighs probably about 50 to 55 pounds, so you could probably pick it up and bring it in the house yourself. And once you open up the box, well, looking at the box, I actually like the box art of it. You know, it looks pretty cool. It definitely has that sort of old school feel to it, and I like the way that the cabinet is presented. A lot of Street Fighter mentions on there and stuff like that. Then you open up the box, and it comes in a bunch of different pieces. Obviously, Obviously, there's different boxes there's three different boxes and it comes with things like screws and all sorts of things one of the nice things about this arcade one-up cabinet though is all you need to build it is a screwdriver literally and you guys know I am not too good at building things let's go ahead and roll that labo clip I am I am not happy right now I am not happy right now with this I do get your ass over here and do this spawn wave because I can't I cannot do this so I couldn't really put together cardboard, so I didn't really have high hopes that I would be able to build this on my own. But honestly, it wasn't too bad, really. It comes with step-by-step -step instructions and an instruction book, but there's also an online tutorial video on Arcade 1UP's uh, YouTube channel. And I just went ahead and followed that because I felt it was a little bit easier, and I just followed the manual if I needed to get a little bit more clarification. But I started to put it together, and honestly, it's not too time-consuming. It took me about an hour to an hour 20 minutes or so to build it and I know some people will probably build it in less time but I'm not exactly the most you know person I'm not you know a Bob the Builder type person I didn't play with Legos as a kid I played with Lincoln Logs because they were easier but once the assembly process started coming along I actually realized I put together one piece in the incorrect manner so I had to fix that but besides that it was pretty seamless honestly it just took a bit of time I was gonna stream the whole process of me putting it together because I figured there would be some funny meltdowns but uh, unfortunately I was sweating my ass off and I was like I don't, I don't think these people want to see me sweat to death right now like I probably lost like five pounds of water like it, it was disgusting but as the process went on I really didn't get all that frustrated and then the final product finally came to my vision and I absolutely loved it I love the arcade style of this system obviously it is built off of the Street Fighter 2 champion edition arcade cabinet that's what it's modeled after and they really got the details down on this you know there's a lot of the same branding there's a lot of the same logos and it definitely looks like a Street Fighter 2 champion edition arcade cabinet now this arcade cabinet comes with three versions of Street Fighter like I said arcade one up has a whole fleet of different arcade systems I believe they're actually gonna be releasing more I've heard some rumors about some pretty cool systems but this was the one that I wanted because I am a Street Fighter fan it comes with Street Fighter 2 champion edition Super Street Fighter 2 the new challengers and Super Street Fighter 2 turbo so three of the best arcade games when it comes to the Street Fighter universe now I was pleasantly surprised like I said with how simple it was 
was the setup for the most part. And then it looks great. I love the way it looks. I love all the branding on it. And it really doesn't take up too much space. A lot of people were complaining about the size of these arcade cabinets because it's something you definitely don't stand. I'm sitting in just a standard folding chair right now and it is a perfect size for this. But if I were to stand up, you know, there's definitely a disparage there. They do sell a riser or something like that that you can use so that you can stand up. But I would rather sit because I'm kind of lazy anyways. But like I said, there's a lot to like about this system. So you see that everything is powered on, everything is working really well, and the screen itself is very nice. It's a 17 inch screen that looks pretty good. Unfortunately, I scratched mine a little bit, but you can't really notice it, especially when you're playing a game, you don't notice it at all. Um, when it's turned off, you could see a little bit of a scratch, but it really doesn't bother me that much. I only notice it when the system is turned off. Now, to turn on the system is very easy. You just put a, a switch on and the system turns on. As far as the volume is concerned and the sound of the system, it's good. It only comes with one speaker, which is a bit of a disappointment. I think that stereo sound would have sounded much better, but it's pretty loud, and I was honestly pretty impressed with how loud it was. Now, as far as the volume settings go, there's only uh, three different settings. You could turn the volume off like I have it now, you could do a midway, and then you could do a full-on uh, volume setting. So, would have been nice to have a little bit more settings, and you can't adjust anything on the actual system itself. So, stuff like brightness, gamma, all that sort of stuff, it's just, it is what it is. And, you know, some people might be turned off by that, but honestly, I feel like the default settings are very nice. Now, this is a flat screen, so it doesn't have like a tube to it. And like I said, it only weighs about 50 pounds. So if it's something you need to move around from room to room or something like that, you could easily do it, I feel. It's definitely not that heavy. And if you really need to, you can get a friend. But yeah, all in all, I really like the system. But of course, it doesn't matter if it plays like crap, if it's not, you know, arcade perfect stuff, if the arcade stick isn't good, if the buttons don't feel nice and crisp. So now we're gonna take a look at the actual system as far as gameplay is concerned. And I'm just gonna kind of give you guys my thoughts as I play along. I will be putting the volume on the medium setting. I hope it doesn't interfere too much with the audio of this video. And I will also put it on the high setting as well so you can see what that sounds like. But we're gonna jump into some Street Fighter II uh, Champion Edition and check it out. All right, so this is the system with the system setting of the medium volume uh, going on right now. And like I said, this is the arcade version of the game, so you're not gonna get things like, uh, you know, different settings and stuff as you would get in the console versions of the game. Uh, I'm playing as Ryu against Zangief, and this is uh, Street Fighter II Champion Edition, of course. And honestly, it feels, it feels really good. Um, I've been playing around with it, obviously, since I set it up. But the uh, the stick itself feels really nice. And it definitely seems as if you could probably swap out parts um, if you choose to do that. Um, it doesn't seem like it would be very hard to do. Uh, you would just unscrew a couple different screws and take the piece out that is the um, arcade stick piece. It's all one piece. And then you would just put in whatever you want. So if you're into customizing your stuff, I can't imagine it would be very difficult to do. As far as putting other stuff on here, I know someone um, put like a Raspberry Pi in theirs or something, but uh, I'm not really interested in that, honestly. Like, that's cool if you want to do that, but for me, like, I just wanted to play some Street Fighter stuff on a, a you know, a little mini arcade cabinet, and I really like it, honestly. So, um, as far as getting back to, you must defeat Sheng Long to stand a chance. As far as getting back to the main menu, um, you do unfortunately have to turn the system off and then turn the system back on. So that kind of sucks. I kind of wish there was a way to just go to the home screen and choose your game uh, instead of having to go into, you know, resetting the system and whatnot. But, you know, not, not a super huge deal, but it is worth noting that, you know, a minor inconvenience, maybe something that they can fix in uh, future versions of this. So like I said, you have uh, Street Fighter II Champion Edition, Super Street Fighter II, the new Challengers, and Super Street Fighter II Turbo. So let's take a look at the new Challengers. They basically tell you you everything that you need to do. Oh, you can reset the game. So uh, my mistake on that, uh, I apologize. It looks like you can reset it from the home menu by holding down this button is the reset button. Hold it for five seconds. Okay, cool. So you can reset it. Um, apologies for that. If you hold down the first player button for five seconds, you can go to that. I guess it helps if you read. Um, obviously, I'm not the smartest individual in the world when it comes to reading, but hey, at least we figured that out. So let's take a look at uh, <laughs> Super Street Fighter 2, the new Challengers, an excellent game. The 
The music sounds very crisp in this as well. I, I really like that. God, Ken. It, it looks like I'm playing good right now, but unfortunately when I play Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, it's probably going to be a nightmare because that game is very hard in the arcades. Come on, buddy. Uh, okay, okay. But yeah, the control stick is very responsive. Like, I, I am pleasantly surprised with, with how, with how, you know, clicky everything is. It has the, the eight directional click as well. I'll get some shots of my hands so you can sort of see and, you know, hear the clicks. I'm sure you can hear the clicks through the audio. Jesus, Ken. All right, screw you. It's hard to focus and talk and make an entertaining video all at the same time when you're trying to do this. All right, so let's take a look at the final game on here, which is Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, an amazing game. So, such a fantastic game. And I'm gonna be pretty quiet playing this. I'm gonna let you guys hear the, the music because I really enjoy the music in this game. And I also am going to turn it to the maximum volume setting so that that way you can hear how loud this gets. We now have the maximum volume on. There's a little comparison. Wow. Pretty pretty much how I expected it to go. I don't know, maybe we can pull this off. Oh, I missed that dragon punch. Oh well. But I just wanted you guys to get sort of a sample of the gameplay on here. So I'm going to play around with this some more and then I will get into my final thoughts of what I think about this system. So as far as my final thoughts are concerned about this system, I absolutely love it. Maybe it's just the nostalgia talking, but like I said, I picked this up for $300 and it's pretty much a Christmas gift to myself. I've always wanted to have an arcade cabinet, but most of the time I don't live in, you know, humongous places that have lots of extra space. So a smaller style arcade cabinet is cool for me. And I like that this is an official product with the official branding. Yes, you could build your own arcade cabinet. Yes, raspberry pies, people build their own stuff all the time, but I'm not really inclined in that aspect. I don't really know how to build my own stuff and I don't really have the time to learn how to build my own stuff. But something like this that's easily assembled and can just play it right out of the box is super awesome in my opinion. I absolutely love it. I've had so much fun playing with it today and I'm going to continue to have fun playing with it. So it's definitely worth it in my opinion if you're just a simple collector. If you're someone deep into the arcade scene though, I'm sure you already have a bunch of arcade cabinets and custom arcade cabinets and things like that. So something like this probably wouldn't appeal to you. But if you're definitely more of a casual arcade person I definitely think it's a very solid pickup it's well built it's very sturdy and I'm pretty impressed with the product overall so let me know what you think of the arcade one up in the comment section down below if you've had your eye on them if you plan on picking up any of the ones that have been released or if you're looking forward to future releases from the company and as always thank you for checking out this video if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications and as always I'll catch you guys on the next video I'm going to enjoy my Christmas present some more later